Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this um, ear warmer or um, I guess ear warmer headband type of thing. Um, it's actually not hard at all. It's got some post stitches and some bobbles, a couple buttons, and you could adjust it to make it um, fit around your head. So it's kind of what it looks like. Buttons here. Opens up, and then you can button it back up. So, let's go ahead and get started on it. <laughs> okay, for this project, I use a Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. It is a super bulky number six, and it's an 80% acrylic, 20% wool blend. And there's 87 yards and a skein, and one will be enough to do the uh, ear warmer. The color that I chose is called Hudson Bay, but of course you can use any color that you wish and you do not have to use this brandy yarn. Any super bulky six yarn will work. And then I'm going to be using a size N, which is a 9 millimeter crochet hook. And I want to take a second to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you look in the description box of this video or any of my videos, you'll see an auto subscribe link. If you click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my updates or any of my tutorials. So you want to start off with a slip knot on your hook. And then we're going to work a chain of 11. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, four. In the fourth stitch, go ahead and do a double crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. When you make it to the end of the row, you should have a total of nine stitches now. And that includes this little chain on the end. It counts as a stitch. So row one, you'll have nine stitches. And we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to start off by putting a double crochet into the very first stitch. This is an easy two row repeat. So row two and three are the repeat rows. So right now we're on row two. So we're gonna start off by putting a double crochet into that very first stitch. And now we're gonna work a front post double crochet over the next two stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, or around the post of it, and do a double crochet front it's like a, it's a front it's like a double crochet but you're doing it on the post of the stitch instead of in the top of it and then we're going to go into the next stitch and front post double crochet so go around the post and double crochet like that now i'm going to put a double crochet in in the top of each of the next three stitches So there's one, two, and three. Now I'm going to put a front post double crochet around the next two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, go around the stitch, and front post, double crochet, and then the next one front post double crochet around the next stitch. 
and then I'm going to end with the double crochet into the top of the next stitch and the next stitch just happens to be this chain here on the end so go right into the top of it and double crochet and you still should have nine stitches row three we're going to chain one and turn now we're working on the back side of our work so we're going to start off with a double crochet into the very first stitch Now we're going to work a back post double crochet to the next two stitches. So you can look and see here, if you flip it over, there's your post stitches right there from the previous row. So what you want to do is work back post stitches this time. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go around the post from the back side. So now the post is on the back of your hook. And then you go ahead and do your double crochet. And then we're going to do that again in the next stitch. You see it right here. Yarn over, go around the post from the back. Now the post is on the back of your hook. Double crochet. Now we're going to put one regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Now the next stitch we're going to put a bobble. And how we do the bobble is we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. You want to do that four times total. So that counts as number one. Again, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops on your hook. That's two times. Again, yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. That's three times. One more time, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Now you should have five loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all five loops. Give it kind of a tug, pull it tight, and then double crochet right into the top of the next stitch. Now you won't see the bobble until you flip your work around, and then you'll see it. So now we're gonna go ahead and work back post double crochets in these next two stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, Go around the post from the back side like that and then do your double crochet again around back post around the next stitch and then we're going to end with a double crochet into the last stitch just like that so that'll end round three and you'll have nine stitches still and that bobble counts as one so now we're just going to kind of repeat rows two and three. So we're going to chain one and turn, double crochet into the very first stitch, and then front post double crochet around these first two stitches. And then we're going to bop or we're going to do one double crochet over the next three. So one double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. One double into the top of the next bobble. And if you pull it apart right here, you can see the stitch right on top of the bobble. And one double crochet into the next stitch, which is just a regular double crochet. And now we're going to work front post double crochets over or around the post of the next two stitches. And then we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of the last stitch. And again, you'll have nine stitches. So that was row four. All we did was repeated row two. Now for row five, we're going to repeat row three. We're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we're going to work two back post double crochets around these two stitches. Go from the back. And then you work your double crochet. 
Back posts are always a little bit more difficult, I think, than front posts, but once you get going, you'll have this done in no time. And then we're going to put a regular double crochet into the next stitch and then a bobble into the next. So bobble is yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. You want to do that four times. So that was one. two, three, four, five loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all five loops. Give it a tug. One regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next two stitches. And then end with a regular double crochet on top of the last stitch. You should always have nine stitches. Chain one and turn and repeat. As you can see, you're keeping your post stitches lined up every row. And it will start to, the sides will start to fold over on you like this. That's fine. It's going to do it really bad the more rows that you do. But at the end, when we go around it with single crochet, that'll pull them out straight so don't worry about it if it starts to do that it's it's going to do that because of the post stitches that are on the side there and you want to keep repeating rows two and three for a total of 27 rows or you can measure it um i don't mine should fit probably like that i don't know 27 rows is what i did um if you might if you have a, a little bit bigger of a head um just measure it to where your ends come together kind of stretched where your ends just hit go together like that not overlap but where they come together because we'll put a row at the end for the overlap but just make it to where they fit kind of snug around your head touching otherwise I did um, 27 rows which should fit it's probably um, most people I would say but you can measure just to make sure and remember, this is going to curl up on the sides. That's fine. You're not doing anything wrong. We're gonna, we'll fix that in a little bit. What I'm going to do on my last row is chain one and turn. Now, if you need to make yours bigger, you can go ahead. Just make sure it measures around your head. Kind of stretch just a bit um, until where it kind of touches. Because the last row will be the overlap row where we put the buttons. So as long as this goes around your head and touches the ends. All we're going to do for this row is just do double crochets straight across. So go ahead and double crochet back into the same stitch. And then no, no post stitches or anything. Just one double crochet in every stitch. And this is what we'll sew the buttons onto. So you'll have nine stitches there. It's like always. Now what we're going to do is go around the whole piece with single crochet. And that should make those these uh, sides here flip back right side out. So we're not going to tie off or anything. What we're going to do start from where we're at right now and chain one. Now I'm going to work two single crochets to every double crochet along the side. Or I'm going to do my best to do that. So what I'm going to do is kind of just go right in between the double crochets and work two single crochets to each one. The best that you can. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but just try to get two singles in each double. Like that. I'm going to do this all the way down <clears throat> the whole side.
And if you see, it's kind of starting to straighten out. Uh, see, now your edge isn't flipping over anymore. So kind of work, uh, try your best to get two singles to every one of these doubles here all along the side until you get down here to this first corner. And I'll meet you right down here. Okay, when you make it all the way to the end, now you see that the side's not really flipping over anymore since we cleaned up that edge. When you make it to the last stitch here, go ahead and put three single crochets into that last stitch. That way it'll round the corner nicely. Like that. And then we'll just continue across this short side, putting one single crochet in every stitch, which you should be able to see the stitches pretty well here along the short side. Let me move this over here. There we go. And then when you get over here to this other corner, we will put three single crochets into that corner also. This one right here. And I'll try to hide that tail as I go. And now I'm going to continue working down this side, doing the same thing I did over here. Just working two double or two single crochets to every double the best that I can, you know, just kind of evenly space them out. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but but just do your best to kind of get two singles there into the side of every double. And that'll help it lay down right and not flip over. So I'm going to work that all the way up. And then when I get to this corner, I'll put two single or three single crochets in it. And then I'll work one single crochet, crochet across the top here. And I'll meet you right back here at the beginning. Okay, I made it back to the beginning. And what you want to do in this very last stitch here is put three single crochets in it. And then you want to end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet that you made here on the side. And then you can tie that off. And then you'll want to go ahead and hide that tail and hide any other tails that you have. And then you can see that that straightened out the sides pretty well so it's not really flipping over anymore. So it's pretty much good to go. Um, you want to take a regular thread and needle and sew your buttons right here on this side here, the flip, the last the row, the last row we did of just all double crochet. You can just use a regular thread needle or yarn or whatever you want to use to sew them on here. And then we'll use, um, I'm going to line it up with, uh, with uh, these post stitches right here I'm gonna make the button go through these two post stitches and these two post stitches so what you want to do when you do that is just bring it around and line up your buttons to make a match like right there, you know so I'm to make a match to go through there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick okay once you get your button sewed on that's it I just use it going in between these two posts here as the buttonhole Just like that. And that's it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, auto subscribe button there that's down in the description box. That way you'll never miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, have a good day.